there you guys welcome to the channel so we're gonna hit up some yard sales today like we usually do but before we head out the door i figured i would jump on here and show you a few things i have sold really recently that i picked up from yard sales that y'all may have seen not too long ago i've kind of shied away from doing what sold videos in the summer months because i have so much yard sale footage but this is a good way to kind of show you a few bits and pieces all right first item that we are packaging up today is this here i paid four dollars at a yard sale for this it is a i think it was 2003 barbie swan lake anniversary clock um i did look it up and the comps really were kind of all over the place there weren't many listed at all one had sold for 15 one was listed for i think like a hundred dollars um anyway this ended up selling on etsy within about a week and a half for being listed and it sold for forty dollars next we have a pair of shorts that were made to look like they were vintage they were san antonio spurs here i'll just get them out all right they looked like this they were like super super bright and colorful really really cool um i paid one dollar for these at a yard sale and they sold on poshmark for 50 plus shipping and the brand in case you're wondering is mitchell and ness next is a super fun sale so this is a vintage eddie bauer backpack with leather trim as you can see i actually got this for free from a yard sale um it was just in their free pile i paid for another bag there for whatever reason they were just giving this one away and this one sold on etsy for 50 dollars again not bad for zero investment <laughs> All right, and the last thing I'm going to show you is this guy. Um, so he was from a yard sale again. I paid a total of 50 cents for him um, because I thought he may be a Puffalump. His tags are actually missing. He's not a Puffalump. He's like a faux Puffalump, but he is still vintage. He is still kind of from the 80s era and he still sold on Poshmark for $40. All right, let's hit up some yard sales and find some more stuff to flip for profits. <laughs> so there were actually a couple of pair of lucky brand ankle boots here and they do okay for me in my store anywhere from like 25 to 35 they were each amount of five dollars but unfortunately there were some signs of decent wear on them so i did end up leaving these ones behind No, I wasn't. Okay. Thanks for asking that. <laughs> Right there in the corner, you will see some people going through a giant box of Lego minifigs that I totally missed that were dirt cheap and I wish I had seen them first and grabbed them, but I'm glad that they're enjoying themselves. Just goes to show you can absolutely miss things right in front of your face at yard sales. Is that a set from? Yes, from Hey there. Yeah. Shirt and some shoes. Yeah. Do you mind if I put these down while I Go keep looking? It. Thank you. Oh, I love your accent. Thank Where you, are you very from? much. England originally. England, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you. I think I'm going to add this one in as well. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll you let never you... even wore that. It's still got the tags on it. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> wow. $55 sweatshirt. Never wore it. Gosh. Yeah. What do I owe you? 1325. All right. Would you like your hanger back? Yeah. Oh, uh, you can keep that one if you want. Are you sure? Yeah, well, thank you. Are you sure? Thanks. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank right. you very much. Thank you. I think I'm okay, but thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> fossil purses hanging here but they were asking between 10 and 20 and that's a little high for me to flip um since they usually sell for me between like 30 and 35 or so plus the condition was just a little bit compromised too Thank you. How much is your shirt? Dollar. Dollar. Awesome. Put that poor little girl. I couldn't believe that. Hi there. How you doing? Not a little more. Doing no. good. <laughs> Can't get nothing done today because I'm dressed on all the that vintage What's dopey doll that, that you can see on the table was really cool, but also really expensive, unfortunately. You had the gloves and stuff to go with it. No, not the gloves. No. How much more for it? Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> I paid about $100 for them and never wore them. What those were? They? $3. Are they nines? I think they're nines. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, maybe I may be wrong. Well, have a nice day. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome to the whole portion of the video where I show you what I picked up at today's sale. So, we're going to start right here first. Um, only items I picked up at this yard sale, one piece of clothing, two pairs of shoes. This one is a... Tommy Bahama men's shirt, size large, 100% silk. Um, I don't pick a lot of these up because they don't do as well as they used to unless they're like really loud kind of prints. Um, however, once in a while for a dollar, I will pick them up when they are 100% silk. Uh, the camera isn't really doing this justice, but it's like a really nice kind of like aqua 
almost like a powder blue color and then it does have a pattern to it that involves pineapples and a tropical flower <laughs> so with it being silk and with it having um some keywords in there for the print um i did go ahead and grab this one and then two pairs of shoes um so these ones here are keens these aren't the usual keens that i pick up usually i pick up the ones that are like um you know like the sports sandals like the closed toe ones but these are just like a little pair of leather uh women's sandals open toe in really nice shape they were a dollar as well and then these were also a dollar um and these are just a pair of black leather clark's boots um again not something that i got out of my way to pick up anymore but clark still does okay especially when it comes to like boots and things like that so i'll give both of these a little shine up with some um doc martin's wonder balm which if you're wondering what that is it's always linked down in the description because i use it all the time for my leather goods and basically it'll just bring this leather back to life and make it nice and shiny and healthy looking for the photos all right and then this yard sale so i grabbed this guy first of all for 50 cents um at first i was kind of hoping Hopeful that he was a puffalum. If you're not familiar with puffalums, the actual ones are made by Fisher Price. They're from like the late 1980s and they look very much like this, but usually they're like rabbits and bears and things like that. But they do have this kind of like almost shiny and then like really, really sort of fluffy, puffy look to them. This guy is not a puffalum, although his tag unfortunately is missing. This is by Prestige. It is still from the 1980s. Uh, so just like a faux puffalump, if you like. But he was 50 cents and the last one that sold, sold for $55. I'm not totally confident that I'm going to get that for him because there's about six listed right now. And honestly, their prices are all over the place. Anywhere from 25 all the way up to 100. <laughs> so I'm probably going to try and settle somewhere in the middle, maybe like 35 or something like that. We'll see. I'm going to do a little bit more research. But for 50 cents, I could not leave this dude behind. All right, I also grabbed a little um, black crossbody, like a leather crossbody. I am not familiar with the brand. In fact, I can barely even make it American. American Angel. I don't know anything about that, but this is like super 90s vibe to me. Obviously, it was a dollar um, and then it's like a it's got this kind of fold out look to it. Again, this is stuff that sells really easily for me on um, like Etsy and even on Poshmark and stuff as well. Actually, just that like super 90s kind of grungy look. Another item for a dollar is just a little Cavu wallet. These usually go for around 15 to 18 or so, although this is quite a nice print, so maybe it'll do a little bit better. Um, it has a little bit of dirt right there that I'm going to have to clean and get off, but other than that, it's in really nice shape. And then the last item to flip was a $5 purchase. It's just a boys um, extra large youth hooded sweatshirt. There we go, spell out on the hood, but it is brand new with the tags and it was originally $55. So hopefully I can take this $5 investment and turn it into say $30 or so. All right, and the last few items are just personal buys. So a lot of you guys commented and said you quite like seeing some of the personal buys that I pick up at yard sales. So when it is easy to do and I can do it really, really quickly, I will keep them in and show you guys. Just a pair of like jogger bottoms and two t-shirts for my boys because quite frankly, that is most of what they wear is yard sale hand-me-downs because that is how we roll um and then we just have a couple of homeschool books we're going to be doing paleontology here in the next year so really cool book with a bunch of like um pop-ups and information just that's going to go so nicely with that unit and then uh just magic treehouse book about world war ii because again we're going to be looking into some world history and that's going to go really nicely as a supplement can't really get wrong when everything's like 75 cents to a buck a piece. All right, you guys, thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sales. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you enjoy going to yard sales and finding things to flip online for a profit, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video and you never miss a yard sale. As usual, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group to ask all your reseller questions and get to know more people in our reseller community, then don't forget to check out mine link down below as well called Thrift Nice. All right, you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.